Okay, so there is a precise definition for the two-sided limits, and it's really wordy, and I have it in my notes here, and I just don't think I'm going to do it. I think we have an understanding. Let's start doing some questions, and let's start seeing how this works. So let's do some examples. Now the first examples I want to take are from your handouts, um, from your course uh, notes that I gave you. And I'm not using an awful lot of them. So this package that I handed you, so if you're at home, you're going to find that package and you're going to open it up. Now there's a bunch of um, pages that I don't want to use. And this is just the way it is. Now you can either throw these out if you want or keep them for later. but. I'm going to zoom out for a minute. This is your, your title page. Feel free to keep that if you want. This is garbage. Um, the one I gave you online supersedes this. Throw that out. The, the, this bothers me. Ever notice this? Date of birth and age. Like, come on. I have to point that out every time. And this thing, elementary school. Really? I'm going to blame them for you not knowing your calculus? It's too late. They're done. If you, if you guys don't know something, it's my problem. Anyway, so throw that out. Um, this I'm not going to do. I gave you another review online I'd rather do. This I'm not going to do. This I don't like. I think it's silly. This is good. Pull this one out. This one I'm going to want you to have and we're going to talk about that immediately. We're also going to talk about the back side of it. This I'm not going to use. This I'm not going to use. This I'm going to use later today so pull this one out and it's two-sided. Got a little cloud. It's pretty. And then stop at lesson three, and I, I'll tell you what we'll use and what we won't use when we get there. So there you go. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of this. And examples. I want to start with the sheet. So we want to do some of these together. So, and this is a really old sheet. I, I made this like 10 years ago, so it's kind of blurry and fuzzy and we'll have to come up with a better one someday but today's not the day. So this is what we got. We got to read through it kind of carefully. So here's your function first of all. Let's, let's be very very clear on what we have here for the function. We have a nice little arrow that terminates in a open circle. So a nice little arrow so it keeps going in this direction. Okay. And we have a nice little termination down here going up to an open circle up here. And we've got a nice linear part of the function there, nice line. We've got a nice non-linear part of the function here that's kind of curvy, that's kind of cute. And then we've got a linear function of the line here. And we've got a little arrow, with meaning that it continues. So this is an open circle. Open. This one's open. This one's closed. And yes, they matter. And this, this is just a point. There you go. It's actually a minimum point in that area, but hey, we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> okay, and the whole thing is f of x, so they're calling it good old function Frank of x, f of x, and they're going to ask me some questions. So they would like to know the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left. This is a left-handed limit because of that little arrow up there. So they want to know the value of the function as I approach x, negative 4, from the left. Now, this is a graphical way of doing things. This is a graphical way. How do I know? Because I have a graph. So I'm going to be on the left-hand side of negative 4, so go find negative 4. I'm going to be on the left-hand side of negative 4. And as x gets closer and closer to negative 4, what does my range value become? Well, I like to play a little roller coaster game. I like to pretend that I'm sitting on top of that little um, that vector there. Ooh, vectors. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, I'm sitting on top of this little line here, and I'm sliding down as x is approaching negative 4 from the left. And as I'm sliding down, my range values are going from 4 to uh, 3.9, 3.8, 3.5, 2.9, 2.0, and I'm getting closer and closer and closer to 2. So that was a long explanation of giving you the answer of 2. So I'm coming this way, so I'm sliding down to that open circle of 2. Wasn't that fun. All right, so what happens as I approach negative 4, but from the right this time? Well, I don't end up on this part of the graph, do I? I'm on this part of the graph now. This is like a little video game. And I'm sliding down, 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 down. 
and I'm sliding down closer and closer and closer to, I think we would call that negative three. Does my live studio audience agree with me? Yes. Yay. And then I got, I got a question for you. What if I don't want to know, like, you, you really have to read closely. That's a different question, isn't it? That's the limit as x approaches negative four. That's a two-sided limit. That is a two-sided limit. And what does it equal? Any ideas, studio audience? Any ideas? Two and, two and negative three. Absolutely not. No. no they're, not they're not equal, which means? They're not. Thank you. Does not. Who said I'm defined? I got to get some rocks up here that I can throw. Does not exist. Look at them. They're whining. People at home, they're whining. It does not exist. I don't care about your whining. Yeah, from the left is 2, from the right is negative 3, it does not exist. So now I've got a question for you, but what about the function itself? What does the function equal? This is a grade 11 question. What does the function equal at x equals negative 4? Anybody? Negative 3 is correct. You take the one with the closed circle. Oh yeah, they're whining again. Listen to them go. Okay, so... Do the bottom one. If you're at home, stop the video. Stop it now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. So now, do it. Go and do it. Come up with the answer. For the bottom row. Just clarifying. So this is a right, that's a left-hand limit, so that's going to be on the left, so I'm going to approach. And this is going to be on the right, so I'm going to approach. And this is a two-handed limit, two-sided two limit, so it's, uh, it's going to, yeah. And then this is going to be, um, and I've got my answers. Those of you at home, you're following along. I was really quiet. I wasn't telling them. I'm going to pause the video here, and we'll be right back.